Hello, hello everyone, and thank you once again for watching the Celebrity and Variety Talk Show with Josie Latimer. Today my topic is about Malia Davis and her mother, Brittany Boynes. Um, I've been kind of following the story a while, if you look back at some of my other videos, and um, I saw where Brittany was doing some interviews uh, regarding her daughter, and uh, she was with our, the activist, Quan LX, on several of the news shows. And one thing I wanted to um, point out is that uh, everyone still believes that she should have protected Malia Davis in a better way. I mean, we all know that. And so there were some questions I think she couldn't really answer about was she, do she feel that she was a good mother? Well, she should have just said no because... And she did say that everybody uh, has their own opinion. So this is just my opinion and opinions of other people that I've talked to regarding the story. Uh, I feel that she wasn't uh, protecting the little girl enough because of the fact that when this man was bathing that child against her will, that in itself was a flag. Another thing, when he took her to school and you know she wasn't there. I mean, what was he doing with her all the time that she wasn't in school? So that was a red flag. And then another thing is when he did not come pick her up at the airport and he did not have her daughter with him. He did not come to the airport, him nor the daughter nor the son. And I did hear something where they said something about the father, the biological father had went and picked up the son and he, and, uh, that guy, Dariana, whoever he was, didn't release that baby, the little girl. Well, what father will walk away and not let and let that happen? If I go to pick up one child, and especially, I'm not going to leave my little daughter over here with some nut. You know, first of all, if I'm going to pick them up, the first person I probably would even pick up would be the girl because I know that more girls get molested. Now, boys get molested too. But in this case, he did not want the boy. He wanted that little girl. And another thing, when he made that comment and he said something about the Mexican said, oh, she's a pretty little thing. Well, you know what? Long ago in his mind, he probably felt that she was pretty. And he possibly was jealous of that little girl because of the fact that, remember, they said that he liked guys. So the little girl probably was too pretty for him and he was wishing it was him. So you have a lot of people jealous of babies when they come out pretty. Um, and the little girl didn't ask to come here. But since he was sending pictures, new pictures of him, um, of his penis to new uh, penis pictures to other guys, that tends to let you know that actually he didn't give a care. He didn't give a hoot about a girl, nor even Brittany. I mean, Brittany was blind to love, like a lot of women, you know, get blind to love. But I would not be blind to the love of my daughter. That wouldn't happen. I wouldn't care who it is. My mother used to say, no man comes before her children. It was eight of us. And so I just wanted to touch bases on that and why, 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 why this nut has not told the cops where Malia Davis is. I mean, I know the gas can was in the trunk, but where there is a confusion is, is did he actually burn Malia Davis up? And he's not telling where he, where the ashes are. Where he burned the where he burned the little girl's body, or uh, maybe they think that there is a body still, and the reason why because they they were searching for her for a long time. So normally, when they search for someone, it's because of the fact that they do feel that there is a body somewhere. So maybe the gas can was still full, and he didn't get a chance to do whatever it was that he wanted to do, because he wanted to hurry up and, and ditch that car. And he probably just went and took her body somewhere and just ditched the car. But you know what? It's just a sad situation for people that's going around hurting kids nowadays. I just don't understand it. Can somebody just tell me what is really going on? I mean, these babies did not ask to come in the world. And when they get here, you're going to kill them? Or you're not going to protect them as a mother? So for all of the mothers out there, never, 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 never leave your kid alone with a man that you're unsure about, because I'm sure Brittany had this doubt in her mind. She had to have had the doubt in her mind with all these different things going on. And this is why people say Brittany should, uh, they should arrest Brittany.
they should arrest her even if she get probation or something or get some training lessons, some training classes because she still have, you know, the other two kids. So, uh, so that she won't make this mistake again. And also CPS. Someone needs to check into that because if they gave this baby back, see, it goes all the way back from the brain surgeries, the brain surgeries. And I really don't think that child fell and hit her head. But someone said at the time, I was reading at the time that she did fall, she was with the, um, she was with the uh, biological uh, father at that time when she did fall. But I wouldn't care who she was with. When that baby fell and she hurt her head, whether she fell or whether her mother or her biological father did it or this other guy did it and it just showed up later. Because a lot of times things can happen and they don't show up until later on. So even though she was, that had happened, it could have happened long ago or it could have happened recently. I'm quite sure they would know, the doctors would know when it exactly happened. But someone abused that child, and she's been getting abused for a long, long time. So I'm glad they have that killer. Another thing, nobody knows if he raped her or not, see? Uh, I'm quite sure he did because he was jealous of her because she was cute and he wanted to really destroy this little girl. So all along, when he was around that little girl, he probably was learning her little ways of how she acts and how cute she was. And then he's going to lie and say, that the Mexican guys, three Mexican guys said, uno, dos, tres, not, not one, but he said, uno, dos, tres, three Mexican guys came after him and Malia Davis, which was a lie. That was a flat out lie. And see, that's the same thing with that Jesse Smollett stuff. When you go around and put this on people and other races, that's what causes war in between different races. I mean, why would he put it on uh, another race knowing that indeed it was him. I mean, he took, because of the fact he took that he know everybody's saying about the border wall and this and that. So he took that and he used that to try to protect himself from being the suspect of murdering Malia Davis. And in that basket, I really, really felt in my heart and spirit that that little baby was in that basket. And he thought he was smart enough to walk outside with that basket without anybody seeing him. See, he felt that since I'm in an apartment, nobody really have cameras, you know. They probably don't have no cameras in this apartment anyway. Oh, but he got caught. Whenever you think somebody's not watching, there's always somebody watching or a camera watching. Nobody can get away with doing wrong. And so, but now he needs to stand up and let everybody know, where is Malia Davis? Where's her body? Where is her body? This is what everybody wants. You've already murdered her. You've already probably um, uh, sexually molested her. The poor child has been abused more than any adult. Some, more than most adults have been abused, and she's only four years old. And to me, her mother, Brittany, uh, somehow I didn't feel the deep down remorse, you know, maybe people express their ways in different ways. And like she said, everybody has their own opinions about this because everybody are touched and everybody loves that little girl. But I just didn't feel that heart, 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 heart feeling of, you know, really, really something happening to my little girl. I mean, I did see, I saw all the shake in the head. I saw all of the cries. I heard all of the speeches, but still, uh, it was something, some kind of energy that I did not feel strong enough that I feel like I had more stronger energy about it than her. And I'm not even the baby's mother. And other people that I talk to, people in general, like even today, people are talking about it. And they were really, really hard. I mean, their hearts were really, really deep. And you could see the pain through all of these strangers. Just like all of those beautiful people that was just Oh, the balloons and everything was going on and all of that was going on for that baby. And at one time, I don't think at either time I saw the mom there at all because maybe she felt that she would get attacked. And you know what? She probably would because she didn't protect that baby. I don't care how you look at it. I don't care. She said that she was at home most of the times, but she went to school part time. So if you go to school anytime or you go anywhere with a cute little girl like that, 
you're supposed to make sure you watch your children and the boys. I don't want to leave the boys out because, like I said, nowadays people are molesting boys as well. So where is Malia Davis' body? Someone needs to tell. And so they have a reward out, but to me that reward needs to go up. That reward is not enough because uh, it seemed like it should have been out. That reward, it should be higher and then maybe somebody can talk. Because it seems like somebody in the family, in Dar in a Vince's, Darian Vince's family, or somebody should know something. Something. And he should do a plea bargain and try to do something to tell so that this little baby can have a closure to her life. She deserves that. She was such a beautiful little girl. And she had a whole life ahead of her until they took it from her. So, as I said in my earlier videos, I fought the CPS for giving them back to that family. I fought the mother for not protecting her daughter and being in love with a man so blind that she couldn't see the forest for the trees. And I fought that biological father for not putting fear in that man that that man wouldn't have had a thought to even do that to that baby. You know, you can put fear in people. I mean, my mom and them had fear even in me as a child, so I knew better than to do anything wrong or they would, huh, just look at you crazy. So he could have gave that man a look, a talk, a walk, or something to let him know if you ever think about molesting my little child, if you ever, don't even whip her, don't even touch her, don't even bathe her, I would have wrote out a list if I was him as a man. If you're going to be with her mother, that's fine. We're not together, but this is what I want for my children. My children. These are my kids. I don't want another man whipping them. I don't want, want another man bathing them. I don't want another man scolding them. You talk to their mother and let their mother deal with me on anything that's going on with my children that I created on this heaven and earth. And the nerve of this guy to take away a baby that wasn't even, you know, had a chance to grow. A baby that was somebody else's child. Oh my God. It's crazy. And so, yes, um, that Miss Brittany, everyone is wondering what happened. I mean, I know women fall in love and we see this stuff all the time. But if you already knew, if you already knew and had an inkling in your heart, how could you let that happen? How could you even leave her? I know you couldn't afford it, but didn't you have other people? She said that I heard that she said that she couldn't afford to um, take the baby. Well, if you couldn't afford it, didn't you have other relatives that could have taken that baby? Didn't you have a mother, a sister, a, a, a woman, anybody, an old lady, a church member, or somebody that you could feel better with than leaving her with a man? Didn't you? So I know you may not have had the money because they do charge. You know, when you're flying kids, they do charge. However, I wouldn't have left him with no man. No man. It could have been any man. It couldn't have been Darren Dar Vance. It could have no man, period. I would have left her with, even though I know you see it on daycare and stuff, On you see this on videos and cameras where even daycare workers are molesting girls too, but it still would have been a better chance than to have a murderer molest, rape, and kill your daughter, and you don't know what happened. You don't know what happened to that baby. You don't know what that baby went through. So you should have thought about that. And especially if you told the man you're going to leave him. I wouldn't even want him anyway. Especially if you saw those pictures and you knew that he wasn't for you. He don't care nothing about no woman. He wants a man. And when you knew that, you should have let him go right away and took your children. Why leave your child when you know this man has already shown you by pictures that he likes men? So with that, I'm going to end my show but we want to put closure to this and everybody all over the world. And it's not just me. It's not just me, but people all over the world, people I talk to even today, everywhere I go, every step I make, Malia Davis has made a worldwide statement because of the fact that she was an angel and she did not deserve to die. So if anyone know anything about that, please call 911 call the hotline and please give out the information. And uh, with that, I'm going to end my show. So click like, share, and subscribe. And I just wanted to do an update 
of how I feel about Malia Davis' story. So, goodbye. Don't forget to click subscribe. Thank you for watching Celebrity and Variety Talk Show. I'm your host, Josie Latimer. See you next time. Bye.